And so what I think is going to happen is that China, history is going to kind of repeat itself. It's kind of a matter of China sitting back and learning as much of the manufacturing process as they can. And what I see think, what I think will happen is that China is going to start producing its own homemade knockoff console of the Xbox One or the PlayStation. And it's going to start making its own games to try to make it's all make the revenue more internal so that foreign manufacturers won't have as much of a competitive advantage or just might happen spontaneously as these things often do because China does have a long history of making knockoff everything and copying all software to to run on their knockoff everything so I think consoles can succeed there, but I think they probably need to think differently. They have to battle against piracy and free-to-play games, uh, lots of factors that people are more accustomed to already and that the Chinese market kind of demands. Uh, if, if Xbox is going to push in there or even if you know Sony or Nintendo is going to be successful there, I think they need to think differently about how they price and market their consoles and also the kinds of games that they release for them. Uh, we are even seeing some big publishers take a step with this. Activision just recently um, had an earnings call where it referred to its Call of Duty Online, which is basically their free-to-play Call of Duty game. Um, we'll have to see if Chinese tastes are as receptive to a game like Call of Duty, um, because in Japan that that series and sort of that genre has historically struggled because they, they have less of a taste for violence, and China does have some, um, some restrictions against violent content. But assuming that they do buy into the into the type of content, um, that's the sort of model that will probably work better there, and that might even influence gaming over here if it becomes big enough. But they, they really need to think differently and approach that market as, as, as its own thing. The other thing you also have to take into consideration is that China didn't officially say like, okay, ban is over. The, very clearly stated that it's a temporary lift of the ban. So they could just bring it back whenever. Like they never said how long the, the temporary lift would be. They just said, all right, we're gonna lift the ban to see how this console experiment works. And um, we could, they could, they basically have this sort of Damocles over every foreign console manufacturer saying like, oh, okay, we could bring the ban back anytime we want. Ban hammer, done. <laughs> you know, I don't know if the Chinese player has the same kind of rabid affection for consoles that North American and European players do. And I think that's a, a lot of that is because of the types of games you see on consoles. The Chinese player that's really into the MMORPG, that's really into like the adventure type of game, that's really into MOBAs, that's, that's something that you're going to see exclusively on PC gaming. You're not going to see that so much on consoles. And because of that, I'm really skeptical that consoles can succeed out there, that either Microsoft or Sony or Nintendo will have those types of games ready to cater to that market. So I'm I'm cautiously optimistic. I hope they do well, but really, I it's going to be a wait and see type of thing. Uh, I, that's, that's the way I see things happening. And uh, I'd be pretty surprised if if something else happened, if uh, if the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 suddenly rose to great heights. It's also, you're also talking about a climate that's very accustomed to, to PC gaming, and not just PC gaming, um, accustomed to not being in the house to do gaming, to going to uh, an internet cafe to, to have gaming done, because in a country with six billion people, it's, well, it's six, six million people, I'm sorry. Living space is very small. And if you need eight square feet to, to use your connect, you're not gonna have a connect. <laughs> so um, living space is at a premium. Apartments are, are generally small unless you're, you're particularly wealthy. Um, and uh, a lot of people can't afford the console to start with. So it, it's, it'll be very interesting to see how the, the Shanghai experiment works out. And, uh, and if, if Western console manufacturers can make it.